a few people that are good in math are going to be able to easily solve this problem. However, I think most people are going to have to work to get the solution or they may not even be able to solve it. So let's see how well you do with this question. So a zoo charges $5 for child tickets and $12 for adult tickets. On a busy day, the zoo sells 300 tickets and collects $2,403. So the question is, how many child and adult tickets were sold? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the complete solution steps here in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time. A zoo charges $5 for child tickets and $12 for adult tickets. On a busy day, the zoo sells 300 total tickets and collects or makes $2,403. How many child and adult tickets were sold? Okay, so let's take a look at the full solution to this problem right now. So the best way to solve this problem, in my humble opinion, is to use algebra. Because in algebra, we have these lovely things called variables, things like x and y, a and b. And remember, these things just represent numbers. Now, why is that going to be useful to us? Well, if we look at the question here, it's asking how many child and adult tickets were sold. So we're looking uh, to answer two unknown values, right? So there's not just one answer to this problem. There's two numbers, right? One number that uh, tells us how many child tickets were sold and another number that tells us how many adult tickets were sold. So how about we use uh, variables here to represent these uh, numbers? So maybe we'll let the variable X represent how many child tickets were uh, sold and maybe like the variable Y represent how many adult tickets were sold. So this is the power of algebra. We can use variables to represent what we're looking to solve for. Now, of course, that's only the first step. And what we want to do is actually formalize uh, these variables. So you want to write things in this manner. So I'm going to say in a very explicit way, let X equal the number of child tickets sold. Okay, then we'll let Y equal the number of adult tickets sold. Okay, so these are just good habits to get in, especially if you want to uh, be really good in solving algebra word problems, is you want to uh, identify what your variables represent. Okay, so we're looking uh, to solve for X and Y. So we have two variables, and if we can find out what these variables are equal to, well, we can obviously solve the problem. But we can't solve for variables in algebra unless we build an equation. So for example, if I was trying to figure out what X is equal to, I need an equation like 2X is equal to 10 so I can solve for X. So this is the next step. We need to build some equations here. But as a general rule in algebra, the number of variables that you're looking to solve for, this is how many equations we need to build. So if this problem only involved the variable X, all I would need is one equation with X in it and I could solve for that X. But here we're trying to solve for X and Y. So we're going to need two equations. We're gonna to have to build two equations in both X and Y. So again, as a general rule, the number of variables that you have is the number of equations that you need to build. And this concept, or what we're talking about um, from an algebra standpoint, is something called a system of equations, or to be more precise, a two-variable linear system. Okay, so now we need to build some equations here. So uh, again, we're going to let x equal to the number of child tickets sold and y equal to the number of adult tickets sold. So we need to build, again, two equations that, bo that have both x and y in them. So let's go back up here to the information in the problem, and let's see if you can build at least one of these equations. I think one is really easy. The other one might be a little bit tricky, 
but let's see if we can actually build these two equations from the rest of the information in the problem. Okay, so here is what you need to do. So one equation that we can build is total number of tickets sold. So again, x equals what? Well, x is the number of child tickets sold, and y is the number of adult tickets sold. So there was 300 tickets sold. So child tickets plus adult tickets is going to be equal to 300. Okay, so that is one easy uh, equation that we can build, and hopefully you saw that. Now the next one is a little bit trickier, but I think it's still pretty easy, and that is total revenue, or how much total money we made. So remember, uh, the cost of uh, child tickets is $5. So how much money did we make by selling child tickets? Well, it's the number, X is the number of child tickets. If we multiply that by five, well, this is how much money we made with child tickets. So Y is the number of adult tickets. And remember, those tickets go for $12 each. So 12 times Y is how much money we made with adult tickets. So child tickets plus adult tickets is our total revenue, which is $2,403. So just in case you don't know what this word means, revenue, that's basically how much total money you made in your business. Okay, so we have these two equations here, x plus y is equal to 300, 5x plus 12y is equal to 2403. So now what we have is a two-variable linear system. All right, so the rest of this uh, video is going to be on how to solve this system. So if you think you know the algebra to, you know, figure this out, well, that's fantastic. Maybe you can pause the video and see if you can solve for X or Y, but I'm going to show you these steps in just one second. Before I show you the rest of the solution steps, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. Also hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. So if you need additional help in math, you gotta check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Now getting back to this system. So in algebra, this is known as a two variable linear system. So let me write that word out here, linear. And the root word is line. So what we're talking about is two line equations, two linear equations. And conceptually, what's going on is that we could graph these lines, all right? So here's the x, y uh, coordinate plane. So let's suppose I graph this line and it goes like this, and then I graph this line and maybe it goes like that. So the intersection of, this, of these two lines is some x, y ordered pair. So that precise intersection point is the solution to the system. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, let's just graph the lines and look where they uh, intercept. Well, that is called the graphing technique, but it's very arduous and it's not a practical method to use. So in algebra, you wanna use something called the substitution method and or the elimination or linear combination method. You need to know both and both are great techniques. So in this particular problem, I'm going to be using the substitution method but the goal of both of these uh, techniques is to build one equation in only one variable. Okay, so that variable could be uh, all x's uh, or all y's. So if you notice here, this equation has x and y and this equation has x and y. What we wanna do is just try to build one equation with only one of these variables. Okay, so again, we're going to use the substitution technique. And what we're gonna do is take one of these equations and solve for one of the variables. So I'm gonna take the first equation and solve for x. Okay, so this is how this works. So to solve for x, I need to subtract y from both sides of the equation. So x is gonna be equal to 300 minus y. Okay, so uh, the way you really want to uh, do this in algebra Anytime you have a sum or difference, right here we have a difference, 300, 300 minus y, what you wanna do is put parentheses around that expression. So many people make errors in algebra because they don't use grouping symbols. So get in the habit, again, anytime you have differences or sums, put parentheses around uh, that expression just like this. Okay, so coming back up here, what we did is solved for x in the first equation. 
So the substitution method says, all right, whatever you uh, got, of course, we got 300 minus y. We're going to replace the x in the second equation with the answer. So let's do that right now. So again, x is equal to th uh, parentheses 300 minus y. So we're going to replace the x the, uh, in that second equation with all of this. And when we do that, we're going to end up with one equation in all y. And that is the goal of uh, both of these methods. Okay, so now we have 5 times 300 minus y plus 12y is equal to 2403. Now remember, we have parentheses here uh, because this is going to tell us to use the distributor property. So we need to take that 5 and multiply it by both 300 and y. So we're going to get 1500 minus 5y plus 12y is equal to 2403. Okay, so here we have like terms, negative 5y and 12y is 7y. So now what we need to do is get this 1500 to the other side of the equation. So we'll subtract 1500 from both sides of the equation, and we're going to get uh, 7y is equal to 903. All right, so one more step here uh, to solve for y, and that is all we have to do is um, divide both sides of the equation by 7. So 903 divided by 7 is 129. Okay, so y is equal to 129, but uh, we're not done. We need to solve for both x and y, but we have y. And remember, we have this lovely equation here. x is equal to 300 minus y. So because y now is equal to 129, we can replace this y with 129 and figure out what x is equal to. So x is equal to 300 minus 129. Of course, that is 171. Okay, so we have x and y, but we have to go back to the beginning of this problem to remember what uh, x and y represent. So remember, x is equal to the number of child tickets sold. So that's 171. And y is equal to the number of adult tickets sold. That's 129. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, you definitely get a nice, lovely, happy face and A plus a 100%. Great job. Now, again, what we're talking about here is uh, a two-system, a two-variable linear system algebra word problem. We're talking about like first-year algebra. So if you forgot this stuff, no big deal. But if you want to learn this stuff, you got to take it one step at a time and then practice, practice, practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.